First, Mungano need to be funded by the international donor community because the money which is coming to, to Mungano, it reaches the common person, the sufferers. Mungano need to be assisted with funds for trainings because the most trainings uh, uh, will make the community to become stronger and also to involve youths, younger youths in these trainings. So we old people, when we move, then the, the younger people will continue. At this time, the devolution is supposed to take place. The devolved governments should work with Mungano Wanavijiji because Mungano Wanavijiji is catering for the poorest people of all. If someone is just away from forest, who had been squatting in the forest, where will that person go? Will that person will come to look for work in slum in Nairobi? Where can that person stay? The smallest people they stay in slum areas. And then when that person comes here and you remove, you come to remove this structure, where will that person go? They should support Mungano's activities within the slum areas. Why not Mungano and Avijij and Akiba Mashinani Trust, which, which, who are catering for the poor people's rights and poor people's rights? 20 years to come, uh, as I told you before, the Mungano and Avijij and Akiba Mashinani Trust, during the government budget, they should be given funds direct from the government during the budget. Because this is institutions dealing with the poorest person on the land. We are seeing through the, the, the priorities the community had given. Some of the messages, we have seen them, they have reached, but they have not reached in a way that we can be served. We are seeing lights from the World Bank and uh, World Bank and Japanese government. But in future, mm. we need the slum to be upgraded. And the kind of upgrading we need, not the one like Kibira. It has not done well. We have done the, the Mungano has done experimental one. This one is called Kambiamoto in Oruma. That's the kind of slum upgrading we need. Because Kambiamoto is the people's driven project, not government driven project. God has spared me. Most of my age mates, whom we started slums, this slum, they are not there, they have gone. But what are we going to leave to this younger generation who is sitting behind you? We need to leave a legacy. What kind of legacy we shall leave? We need documented legacy. And the kind of documented legacy, if we don't tell the correct history, then the younger generation will not be able to tell the history how the slum started. We are not speaking only today for us. We are speaking for the generation and the generation who are supposed to come. Whatever perhaps we are saying, we are saying today, it might be written in the book of history.